Close your eyes and try to be just with your breath. As the world outside right now, you don't have to pay any attention to it. Take care of your mind right here. Kind of put the mind in good shape because it has to deal with the world. In dealing with the world, you've got what? Sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, good people, bad people, nice words, harsh words. All kinds of things are happening out in the world. So you have to be ready for just about anything. So get the mind ready. Have a sense of well-being inside, that this is a place where you belong, this is a place where you can come back to whenever you need to, and heal your wounds, and gather up the strength you're going to need to go back out. And remember, when you go back out, you want to take something good out of the meditation. So create something good right now so you can have something good to take out, a sense of well-being inside. When you feel at ease with yourself and when you're not weighing yourself down with unskillful thoughts, even unskillful ways of breathing. Then you have a lot more strength to have something good to give people outside. This is the time of year when people are giving gifts all over the place. But we have to remember the best gifts are the ones that don't cost any money. You can be giving of your time, you can be giving of your forgiveness, giving of your energy, giving of your knowledge. These are really good gifts to have because they last much longer than material things. At the same time, you have to think about your words, the words you speak to other people. Words get thrown around as if they don't have any worth, and as a result, they don't have any worth. They're just, they're, sometimes they're worse than worthless. They actually destroy things. So you have to be very careful about what you say. Remember that your mouth is what, one of the things that makes you a human being as opposed to a, a regular animal. You can speak. You can give messages, convey meanings. So try to be very careful to con convey good ones. Our problem is that all too often something bad comes in our ears and it goes right out of our mouths again. So in other words, somebody says something we don't like and we have to respond. We feel that this, as they say in Thai, it doesn't enter your ears. Well, if it doesn't enter your ears, then why take it in? Why throw it back out? Just leave it there. Try to find the right thing to say that calms things down, the right thing to say that ends conflicts. Or if, it, if you can't end the conflict, at least bring some peace. So remember, the gifts you give with your words are really important gifts. It's not just saying blessings to one another, but actually in your daily back and forth, try to show some wisdom. As the Buddha said, there are three things you want to look for. Is it true, what you're about to say? And if it's not true, don't say it. If, then is it beneficial? Does it, does it really help the other person? Does it really help society at large? If it doesn't, again, forget about it. Even though it may be true, just don't bother. And then there's the right time to say something unpleasing, and there's the right time to say something pleasing. Because sometimes you do have to use harsh words to call people to their senses, to make them realize that something's going wrong. Other times that's not called for. So try to have the right sense of time and place of when you can be harsh and when you have to be gentle. Even when you're harsh, try to show respect to the other person. That way your words become something that are really worthy of tre treasure and they really do have value to them. If you take care in choosing your words, that gives them more value. And when you give them more value, then other people may be more likely to listen. If you don't give your words any value, just throw whatever comes in your mind out into the world. If you don't give it any value, who else is going to give it any value? So think about what you're bringing from the meditation out into the world. And make sure that it's a good gift kind of gift that you would like to receive from other people.